Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the art material development. So as you can, can see, the earliest history of the human using color to paint can be just traced back, traced back to the Paleolithic period. According to the survey, humans have used primitive method to hit loss to make red pigment more than like 47 BC. And as well, going back further, back to the ancient Egyptians, they made a huge contribution to the manufacture of pigment. Like they use a lot of uh, colors, use a lot of miser to do to to finish their drawings. As you can, can see of right here. And as we move to the next page, for the 13th, 17th, uh, 17th century Europe, like in the East and also West and other parts of the world, early pens was mostly all made by painters and also just made by their assistants. In the old time, that's the only way they made the pens. Like many, also, many archmasters in the history of Europe or China often the discoverers and uh, manufacturers of new pigments at the same time. Discovering many classic painting pigment, uh, pigments such as cinnabar, leaf den, and plan. The, <coughs> the collaboration between pigments makers and painters has always had a nature. And now we are going to talk about the pen materials. That's mostly of the oil pen because oil pen has a really long history. Like in 1664, in the high day of a uh, penny in the North of the line, a painter's guide produces a high quality oil paint. This is the earliest oil paint brand in history. And the predecessors pro, and also the predecessor of the old Dutch brand handmade oil paint. It also uh, you can see that picture, that one. It came a lot of years and now it just turned to a really, really big oil brand. And it's really famous, not even in, everywhere in the world. Also, then we move to like a most like the Chinese paint. In China, the, the production of pigment of traditional Chinese painting has a long history in more than 200 BC, the painting colors on the fresco fragment of the Qing and Han dynasties has been right, black, brown, and also the stone green, and also other, a lot of colors they have been used. Like we never know what color they use, but they use it. And also that all warriors, and the horses of Qin Shi Huang used a cinnabar lead, carbon black, and the lead white. And it it already just uh, kept the their origin color color for like uh, a lo long years. They have just been found twenty years ago. And after that, there also has an another not like painting it's more like the fresco this is the chinese painting pigment become more and more abundant and it developed great greater in the later dunhuang art that's kind of different art and different time with that first one i show you guys according to research the only red pigment used in Dunhua fre frescoes are cinnabar, literate, regularite, ironite.
and also the silver and other colors. There are many kinds of uh, jewelry and so on. The green, the green in the stone green, the blue in the azurite, and also another blue, and also another Central Asian color, and also yellow as well. And also this uh, frescoes has been continued to today. And it's like a really impressive, it's hard to show it on the photo, but if you have time to see it, or you can just go to China to see it, that's, that should be just really impressive. And also at this one, until the last few hundred years with the development of technology, there are also more type of paintings, like a lot of type of it, like a acrylic, watercolor, gouache, oil painting, all that kind of different things, they have a different way to be painted and they have different way to make it. And I will talk to you guys about the how they made it. You guys can see that's how the oil painting has oil painting has been made and the acrylic has been made and also the watercolor they have like, like totally different. The watercolor is mostly like a, when you use a pen you use the uh, water and but the oil pen is not be the same the oil pen is you are you actually don't really need use the oil but sometimes you do so that's most of his that's mostly like the different and the oil painting can just when it has been dry you can just redraw it like to add more details and it can keep a long time but watercolor is like you need to draw really fast can see it and this is the oil pen work this is my oil pen so it's I have a deep feeling for the pen pen pigment that continue to develop and process with the development of science because I love painting and I choose an oil painting for the manner like my former teacher just told me that when he first started to paint, there are still so many colors that has been developed now. Just, he is like a 78. When the first time he is drawing, there don't have that much colors. He can only use like three primary colors to paint. Just the right yellow and blue. And saying, that the colors of pigments are so diverse now and also colorful it's just really important not to be signed the development of science and the development of science allowed us to enjoy a better painting envir environment and also greatly improves the integration of colors between pigment even though the development of science, we can also use advanced technology to analyze the composition of colors in famous paintings. We can, and also we can see if it's true or if it's not a true one. And even we can use this, uh, use this to figure out the steps of the painter at that time, just how they drawing that what are you thinking it's really helpful to make people think about it this is really just amazing so i think the development of science is really necessary because the benefits of uh, scientific development are everywhere in life just in our life not even the pen uh, oil pen is everywhere and at last i want to show you guys my favorite oil painter 
it from it from like uh many years ago but it just looks very really nice okay i think that's most finished and that's my work setup page